it is perhaps the most glorious morning that's ever been had on Sylvia. The sun is shining, we have perfect conditions. Oh. So good that we're going off course. <laughs> Okay, so what are the rules of the game? Go. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. <laughs> Previously on Expedition Drenched, we started our sail from Fiji towards Vanuatu. On our first part of the sail, some unexpected things happened. What do you mean the window fell off? <laughs> some funny things. <laughs> and some scary things. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's see what the next couple of sailing days will bring. Good morning. I'm pretty happy about where we are in the world, in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> floating around, beautiful conditions, making some eggs and plantains, which is always a delicious treat. I've already done the plantains. Mm. Crisp, golden brown, salt and cumin and paprika. Mm. And I'm frying up some eggs for our little squad, for me, Chloe and Sylvan. Quite the team, I'd say. The only shortcoming of today's breakfast is that it's pretty rolly, and so a lot of the eggs the yolks like cracked just from like rolling around the pan. But we'll survive. It will it. still be good. It'll still be delicious. Yeah. Look at that! Da -na 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 -na. Look uh, at that! Look at that! Oh my god! Choose, choose a plate. Oh, we... This is Thank spectacular. You very much. Oh. It's so good that we're going off course. <laughs> I'm not even oh. care about steering no more. <laughs> <laughs> It is perhaps the most glorious morning that's ever been had on Sylvia. The sun is shining, we have perfect conditions, and land is in sight. And if all goes well, if we hold our course and if the wind holds out, we might be able to make it to Tana just at sunset. So we'll see. Fingers crossed we make it. Give me some exercises. Me <laughs> doing the downward dog. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. For the people that have to work, they know that you know, often you don't even get time to do your exercise. Here we're blessed with so much time and bored. Uh, I'm really happy. I think this was one of the better mornings that I've had during a sail. I don't know, I slept like a baby and I didn't feel seasick at all and everything was super smooth. I think I never felt so good during a sail and yeah. You should never get too comfortable though, because during a sail things can change in a second. Right, it's so fun when outside. We just got smashed by like the hugest wave. All this shit just went flying. I put out the main. It's maybe a bit too much, but it'll give us make it less rolly. Absolutely beautiful spot. Great scuba diving, and as always, it's always the people that kind of make or break a spot for me. Probably having the patrons on board was really cool. I just keep having a flashback to this moment when um, Mike, who's one of the people that came out to visit us, had a couple drinks, and so it's been absolutely yeah. fantastic. Okay. Pretty much best days of my life. This has been Hi. top notch. 
share a really unique experience with people that you know are excited about what we're doing and yeah to make other people really happy by with sharing our lifestyle the, the diving since uh, the first dive in the white wall uh, until all the shark dives and even like the reef dives it's a uh, little micro stuff i enjoyed all of it bull shark diving and manta ray diving was for me beyond expectations especially because i'm quite a newbie in diving it was super cool to see the sharks from so close and the manta rays was just a magical experience they were super playful the bull sharks and the lemon sharks i have never seen so many in the same place i surfed and i, I had a lot of fun because i'm a beginner but i i, I got to stand up and surf some waves I don't know, and looking back at Fiji, we did a lot of crazy stuff. We dove a lot of cool heads, things, yeah. Pole sharks. Pole sharks, we dove white wall. Manta rays. It's impossible to pick. So, Nomotu is my favorite place. It's where the surf break is. Yeah, ever since I joined Sofia, I was looking for waves. And we'd see them, but we'd just sail right by them. Or when we were at a surf break, the conditions weren't right so it was good to see a lovely wave get in and have a good surf definitely surfing like it was it was pretty amazing really uh, Namoti was just perfect just like such good conditions to get back into some surfing uh, and then like meeting all the crew now leaving Fiji this is my first multi-day crossing Okay, so what are the rules of the game? You want to love it? Okay. We take environment seriously. Yeah. I would, I would possibly die. Yeah. Okay, you ready? I can tell if some Batman and some Banjo are if he's enjoying himself. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I love it. Good! Refreshing! Yeah, very good. I've been actually wanting to do it for a while, but I don't want to freak out new owners, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that guy that they have to look around for for hours because he missed the rope. I've cut up my eggplant and now I'm putting it into a laundry bag because I'm going to throw it in the ocean like so. And what that does is eggplant has like a bitter taste unless you salt it. So normally you would salt it and then you would like rinse it off to, and it gets that bitter taste out. But I have this genius idea of putting it in a laundry bag and just like letting it drag behind the boat, which will do both those things. And then I'll just rinse it off in fresh water at the end. Eggplants, getting deep in it, frying on a sailing boat. That's extra level right there. What could be one of my favorite dishes mm. from Sylvia, and this during a crossing. And it's hard to do. We got penne with uh, eggplant, which is like breadcrumbed and fried. And then tomato sauce and pesto. Mm. How does it taste, Mori? Just like pesto. Mm. It's delicious. Yeah. I always think of uh, the two places. Uh, my mom will take me to my bed, like my original bed, and another time will be my friends at the bar, drinking some wine and chatting and just being worried about nothing in that moment. Yeah. I'm on a. Like she's strong and she's able to do it and I, I see the same in my head I'm like I'm, I'm Emily I'm able to overcome this and I'm strong and like I just repeat stuff like that it helps to be optimistic uh, in every situation I think I'm trying to think of the time where I was most seasick and I think that was the sail to near Tepetaku even though I was feeling really ill and throwing up a lot I remember 
And when we sailed into New near Tip Tapu and the sun was rising, it, it all made it so worthwhile. It was just the most like magical sunrise. It all made the seasickness worthwhile. Mostly I just try to sleep. That's what works best for me. I think the thing I fantasize most about is food. So I just imagine myself eating whatever I'm craving at the moment. Or I go back to the first crossing we ever did because I feel like that was a little bit of everything. And it helps me get that feeling again of how it was when it was all new and fresh and uh, very, very exciting. And then I really appreciate every little bit of a crossing in itself more as well. Saying that, the moment itself now is pretty good. We're almost in Vanuatu, that's somewhere there, the volcano. So yeah, not bad for a crossing. So we finally did it. We had the most perfect sail. We did like 600 miles in three days. And we are gonna be here to Tana Island in Vanuatu like a day and a half earlier than we thought. And that's pretty exciting. Over there we can see uh, Tana Island, volcanic, it's got cliff faces, it's got clouds all over. We can't really see anything higher up than 100 meters because it's all in the clouds. So it's quite mysterious. I'm changing the flags over. And because this is my first crossing, I get the honor of doing it. I'm just putting on our quarantine flag so that customers know they have to come check us out. So we're pulling into Port Resolution and we saw this little red thing that we thought was a channel marker and we got out the binoculars and it's actually a guy in a red shirt sitting in like a little outrigger canoe. So it feels very cool to arrive. This place seems pretty wild already. Like when you just look around, there's yeah people in little boats rowing around and crazy palm tree beaches with breaking waves and cliffs on the other side. So I think Vanuatu is gonna be a, a pretty sweet spot and I'm very happy that we made it. <laughs> The best thing about arriving to a harbor instead of like traveling by plane, by bus, by car is that just after crossing and being in jailboat for three days you can just put your swimsuit on and woohoo! Tell me your mask! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Made in pulse! <laughs> and plus I get to look cool until I give it away. <laughs> Join us next time while we celebrate Nuria's birthday in different ways. Shall we do a little race? Look at my Emily! Man, whatever. We just want to get wet. And I can tell you one thing. That girl knows how to party. But for now it's gonna be fing finger licking good. Finger looking good. Licking. Finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny to hear a French Canadian person say finger licking good. <laughs> finger licking good. <laughs> Same in New Zealand. Yeah. yeah I, I agree. Finger licking. Good. Genius. Genius. It's like. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Maria is just. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Contemplating. Are you trying to look like Demi more? Yeah, you are. Give it a try. Mm -hmm. Tell, give, a, give us a comment if you think this girl looks like Demi more. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. You survived. Ha! <laughs> are you excited? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're a pretty guy today. Always. What's this? And the hammer, like the hammerheads. No, the hammerheads, no, because I didn't see the hammerheads. <laughs> okay. I'm actually lubricant right now, with or without that. I'm actually. There you go, bro. You just put that on there. If it's, it's good, nice and cool, isn't it? I think I bet that's helping. Yeah, it's helping. Oh, I definitely got a bit too much sun today. Look at this sassy outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start rapping like uh, Jordan. You warming up for your birthday tomorrow? Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Trying to, try to play with my friends. <laughs> Jordan, here we go. Take one. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm oh, so. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Where's the gun? It's over there. I told you you I need to go! I tell you! <laughs> ah, this! So I mentioned that possibly she would lose her underpants. Guess what's happened? <laughs> Nate's tearing them off her like a good husband, like a good partner. He's ripped it off her. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 